Attorney General Robert Kennedy, with his family, continues to enjoy riotous receptions behind the Iron Curtain. In Krakow, the Kennedys are mobbed by a crowd of 15,000 Poles. The government, obviously irked, had thrown a news blackout on his visit. However, within minutes of his arrival at Jagalonian University, the word had spread through the city. Observers say that Mr. Kennedy didn't take it as a personal triumph, rather as a tribute to the United States and what it stands for. At the historic university with its priceless collections, Mr. Kennedy is shown the Jagalonian globe, the first geographical representation of the North American continent. There were moments when there was fear for the safety of the Kennedy party. The city police had gone on the presumption that the visit would be ignored. They were ill-prepared for this emotional outpouring by the Poles, who feel deep ties to the United States. Finally, the Kennedy party took refuge atop a Soviet-built sedan put at their disposal. There were demands for autographs and condolences on the death of his brother. All of the Kennedys were besieged. Even his son was kept busy with autographs. Then a tribute at the statue to Thaddeus Kosciuszko, the Polish patriot who fought for the colonies during the American Revolution. The crowds followed the Kennedys wherever they went, and at one point, everyone joined in to sing When Polish Eyes Are Smiling. For much of the six-hour visit, the Kennedys were stranded on the roof of the sedan, and later they said they wouldn't have missed a minute of it. <laughs>